Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market and this is going to be my daily forecast for the cryptocurrency market for Wednesday, uh, November 25th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And if you want to uh, join us on Patreon, you're welcome to do so. The link is down below. You get access to our signal service, basically all our trades and also our full technical analysis. So we'll look at Bitcoin first. And as you can see, we are trading at the moment at 19,173. We haven't been this high with Bitcoin since all the way back in 2017, where we went all the way up to 20,102. So we'll probably get to that point. Um, question is whether or not we'll have a pullback before then. So this was a, basically a massive bubble. And this is starting to behave in a very similar fashion. Whether or not we'll see a complete collapse like we did see in 2017, that is to be seen. We went all the way from 20,000 uh, all the way down to 3,200. And um, well, that was a complete crash in the, in the uh, cryptocurrency or Bitcoin. Uh, whether or not we see the same thing, that is to be seen. Um, but I do believe that we'll have a pullback. And there are signs that we are going to see a pullback in this market. Um, I do believe that we'll get to 20,000. I think that we'll, uh, buyers will basically pressure this all the way up to 20,000 and then dump it. The question is how far we'll fall. We, uh, 18,000, that is a possibility. That's basically right under here, this, um, this weekly candlestick. But I believe that 15,000 is where we are going to land in the beginning. The best case scenario is that we go all the way down to the 50 moving average on the daily chart. So the 50 moving average is at 14,000 at this point. And I do believe that we'll, that will basically when we, if we fall all the way down towards 15, the 50 moving average will also be around this area at the same time. We can also look at the uh, Fibonacci retracements and take this long. We can basically see that around this area here is the first one, we'll probably do, do here. We can see that the uh, 50 Fibonacci retracement is around 14,700 or 800 thereabout. And uh, that would mean that this area here would be significant support. And uh, that's a uh, fantastic place if you want to buy Bitcoin because buying at this level here is just absolutely crazy. I know that I saw some other, I read some articles uh, analysis today that Bitcoin was going to go absolutely parabolic the next um, few years, but the, the moves like this can't continue forever. They will uh, fall eventually uh, because, well, it is very hard to find any value up here at this point. Value can be uh, found if it falls towards the uh, 18,000 level or the 15,000 level. Then people will start be interesting in basically starting buying this. If we look at the technical indicators, we can see that we are significantly overbought. However, the other indicators are either flat or bullish. So it is not showing signs of weakness on the daily chart. Uh, not at all. So we may go all the way to 20. I do believe that will be a very psychological um, area which a lot of sellers will come in and basically push this market significantly lower. And if you want to buy in, I would guess that 15,000 would be the absolute best, um, best area for price level to buy Bitcoin at this point. So look at Etrum. We can see that this has also become completely parabolical and um, at this point it is also starting to look like a bubble. This has to pull back uh, eventually and if you look at the Fibonacci retracements here all the way up that area then 500 would be um, a good entry, uh, 470 would also be a very good entry and that would also coincide with a 50 moving average traveling this way and we will basically hit the same area so a pullback from here is well that is inevitable 
Uh, we are significantly overbought. CCI is turning around. Stochastic is turning around. It's basically the MACD that is, is still fairly bullish, but the other indicators are starting to show signs of weakness and basically turning around. And this, uh, this candlestick here also looks fairly weak. So this is a plausible uh, selling opportunity at this point. This is, looks much weaker uh, than Bitcoin is uh, at this current stage. So a fall towards the 500 area, that is, um, that's a, a very good entry for a buy. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, by clicking the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.